Hi, good morning guys. It is another day. So I woke up this morning to a complete coffee table. Like literally last night, um, we spent over three hours trying to put this coffee table together and we just couldn't figure it out. Eventually it was like, you know what, forget it. It was just lying there in the evening and just like, you know what, forget it. I'll call take a lot and see if something missing or we'll get it back or whatever the case is. So this morning I wake up and the table is done. How amazing is that? Anyway, sometimes if you want something done, you just have to take a break, you know, just leave it and go to sleep. And then you wake up with a fresh mind in the morning and it will get done. No, I was not the one who did it. Okay. So now I'm about to prepare um, for breakfast. I want to know, guys, do any of you still eat like Ibaba, like you mean me? Because because in this household, it's like a thing on weekends. Like, we don't grow out of it for some reason. We've never, we can have, we can have our cereal, the muesli, whatever. But the papaya meal mealy on a weekend, it's like the thing in my household. My daughter loves it. It's like she just, she cannot start the day unless she has a papaya meal mealy. It's like it's not breakfast unless she has it. If it were up to her, I would have to get up early in the morning before school and make it, you know, because, yeah, she just does not like cereals and all the other fancy stuff. But anyway, just let me know in the comments down below if any of you still eat a cup of meal. Maybe she's going to make it. But I just want to stop everything I'm doing Stop cause I'm not okay I want you here forever I want you here with me Oh what a life, oh what a life, oh what a life I could have had with you Suddenly I want you to walk away no. I wonder where you at That it's okay, okay. Cause every pleasure's got an end of pain. Maybe I'm indifferent. Maybe I'm not thinking straight. I know I shouldn't play this game. Maybe I'm indifferent. Maybe I'm not thinking straight. I know I shouldn't play this game. But I just wanna stop everything I'm doing. Stop cause you're not okay. I don't want you here forever. I don't want you here with me. Oh, what a life. Oh, what a life. Oh, what a life. I could have had with you. I always tend to make sure that I leave my washing machine dry, especially the rubber pants. You just clean it because sometimes it does tend to collect um, sort of like mold. So I always make sure that it is completely dry. And if it's just me, who does that. And then I'll um, leave my door open um, just to continue drying it and stuff. Yeah.
still stubborn i never take anything to scrape it off i literally just um wash it clean just to make sure it stays clean everything that needs to be soft is softened and then all i do um is just add water and i'll let it sit until the whole thing lifts so i don't really um, spread the pot or anything so I just wait for it to soften up and that's just how it was always taught and like literally with my grandmother you can never leave a pot dirty on the stove even if you're cooking your pot must be spotless nobody must know what you're cooking so you know when sometimes you know when you're cooking and the water runs down and it has all of those things like a meat cell as we say you have to clean your pot always make sure your pot and your stove is always clean every single time nobody must ever know what's inside your pot or what you're cooking that's just how i was raised Is nice and spikeless. It is now to get onto the floor. Usually, just spray this on. It's quite <coughs> strong, really. Toxic, but anyway. I sprayed on, it's called the clean. It cleans anything and everything. It's a multi-purpose cleaner. I spray it on and then just leave the shower and just close it for like 10 minutes before I come in and then just clean the shower. So I'm just spraying it on and then I'm gonna mop the floors and then just come back and clean it off. Make sure um, your room is well ventilated because it does smell um, quite strong. Yeah penetrate lifts and lifts the grease and grime it's non abrasive it's biodegradable which is great so it's just safe to use pretty much on everything tiles and walls and floors fridges stoves and baths for fabrics and for carpets I haven't done it for fabrics and carpets but hey I guess it's worth the try but anyway so I got this at pick and pay I think yeah I got it at pick and pay so you know, I think I'm just gonna spray a little bit in my bucket here. I've never done it before, so I'm gonna do that. Thank you so much. Add some water, then I'm just gonna pour it in the bucket. this bucket takes a lot of water so um, you can't fill it above that yellow line and you see the part in the middle okay it's like a metal part right in the middle so this small has underneath you see this part so you're supposed to um, insert this part uh, as soon as it focuses that part into the metal part so it clicks and um, it's not 
actually now it's getting water in and if it's not enough water you're gonna see it's not gonna have much water the only thing about this mop it doesn't dry properly like it really doesn't dry properly but I like it because I do not have to use my hands to dry the mop so um, yeah and like I said they don't like it because it doesn't dry properly so they prefer the one that uses the hand So I always use like an old sponge to clean my toilet and then I just basically just throw it out so I have a dirty sponge every week I will thoroughly clean my toilet okay let's just put it over here Make sure that my brush is also cleaned. I soak it in bleach as well to clean it and then just dry it before um, closing it in there so it doesn't collect the bacteria and then so obviously I use a different sponge for the toilet as well as for the sink. Hygienic reasons. So I'm just gonna I'm using bleach to clean everything. Okay, so now the sink is clean, so all I'm doing is just refilling my um, hand wash, hand washing liquid using the Dettol. I hope you can focus, Dettol sensitive. So, Cleaning is officially done and now it is time for brunch okay now so let me see how many steps I have gained just from cleaning just remember I actually um, I didn't start with it on like I didn't actually switch it on before I started I wasn't wearing my watch but I don't know if you can see you can't really see it's 2240 steps which is 1.6 kilometers and yeah not bad not bad not bad so we haven't even closed one ring yet but hey so please make sure before you start cleaning make sure you put on your watch so you can see how many steps you do just around the house so 
that's pretty good that's six minutes of the 30 minutes of my workout and that's two hours standing which is absolutely not true but okay we shall keep it at that but anyway yeah that's it Ta -da. I've been thinking about your smile I've been thinking that I can't let you go Hey, can you wait a little while? Why we're holding back, I don't know I guess I'm all confused about you, about you You're my one temptation, yeah realize it's been such a long day lots of cleaning, lots of housework and all all in all it was a nice chill day after cleaning and um eating i just chilled really just relaxed for the rest of the day and i was meant to do my nails but you know what i just i just i didn't have the energy so tomorrow i think i'm gonna do my nails i'm going to do conditioning treatment for my hair yes i still do it even though it's in bread thank you again so much for joining me